1963. Fiji is my country, the proud host of the first South Pacific Games. The idea of the Games started in Rabaul in 1959, when one of Fiji's representatives at the South Pacific Commission Conference, Dr. Sahu Khan, put forward the suggestion of holding regional games in the South Pacific. His idea was that teams from the 18 territories involved would come together and in getting to know each other would come to understand each other better. The suggestion was adopted and two years later nine territories met at the Commission's headquarters in Noumea, formed the committee and drew up a draft constitution at the same time inviting my country, Fiji, to be the host territory for the first games. In late August, all roads seemed to lead to Suva, the capital city situated at the water's edge on the southeast tip of the colony's largest island, Viti Levu, a busy industrious city of some 40,000 inhabitants. its wharves ready and waiting to receive those of our 600 guests who would be coming by sea. Everyone seems to be coming to Suva, bent on securing a place at the games for themselves and their families. A cosmopolitan flavour is added to our capital as visitors, competitors and local people fill the streets. Opening day, 29th of August, 1963. Last touches are applied to the main venue, Buckhurst Park, on the outskirts of Suva. Until a few days before the start of the Games, the field was flooded by eight inches of rain. Much of the final preparation had to wait until the weather cleared, just before opening day. Now the sun shines at last. The ground tracks are ready for rugby, soccer, basketball and field and track events. Empty stands, refreshment shelters and everything waits to greet the crowds arriving from Suva. The bands of the Fiji military forces and the Fiji police amalgamate for the opening ceremony in a spectacular and colourful marching display. historic moment is here. The flag is broken and the games are open. And with Fiji on attack is a shot by Zika Ali, stopped very nicely saved by Saveni. Works his way out of the rock, kicks left footed. And now it's Karufi on the Papua New Guinea left wing who gets a very weak center and it's collected by Savo in the Fiji goal and he clears left footed. His Excellency the Governor and Lady Maddox on the final day watch a very close match between New Caledonia and Fiji in which players from New Caledonia take the first three matches but Fiji come back to draw level at three all. Putting the weight up a bit, featherweight Toma of American Samoa versus Gurumuki of Fiji. 44 boxers from five territories took part in the bout. The Cook Islands, with only six entries, being particularly successful, winning two gold and three silver medals. Competitors prepare for the start of a 100-meter heat. Several heats are run before the final. Which is won by Potha of New Caledonia. Many thousands of spectators of many races attended over the three days the athletics were held. Six rugby matches were played with Western Samoa, Tonga and Fiji playing each other twice. The Fiji Rugby Football Union did all the preliminary work. Three of the touch judges were either of Tongan or Samoan birth, though they were now living in Fiji. And in private life the officials ranged from a carpenter to a magistrate. Western Samoa versus Fiji, and a kick ahead is gathered by Seru, the Fiji fullback. 
He tries to clear, but he's tackled. The ball's down on the ground, the Samoan falls around. This could be dangerous for Fiji. And here, uh, a kick ahead by Fiji is fielded by Kelly Tuart Hengalore. He sells a beautiful dummy, cuts inside two men. He's almost on the Fiji line as he's caught. And now it's very dangerous for Fiji. Scrambling play, Western Samoa trying to get it out to the left wing. And now a kick ahead by Bully. Chasing after it is Petro Rasu Sateki. The ball is...